Oh, is this thing on? Hold on. IDS 302. Welcome. Sorry, I just need another hit of coffee. Um, good morning. Uh, welcome to, what is it, March 24th. I'm here. It's about 9.05 a.m. So uh, kind of doing this live again, as live as I can do it. I'm not a big Zoom fan. I know if you have your um, other courses, they might be going, might have gone to Zoom. My son has got all his course, same schedule, all Zoom. Um, I guess it keeps it lively. I don't know. I'm used to, see, I'm used to online classes anyways. So uh, this was an easy transition for me. Not easy in a sense that I miss, I miss going to class. That's why I teach uh, face-to-face in the spring, try to get better at it um, and to interact with people have a social life. Anyways, uh, good morning. I am outside my Airbnb today. I don't know if I did it this last week. I've been doing so many videos for other classes. There's my travel buddy. Um, I'm sitting here, uh, my Airbnb, which I'm moving out of on Wednesday, next Wednesday, the first, uh, I had to change my entire lifestyle as I've kind of intimated. And, um, I signed a 13 month lease at an apartment uh, in Awatuki. So I'm committed, uh, to get through the summer with whoever else is sticking around. I haven't done that. I've only done that. I figured it out. Only, only spent three summers here in like 17 years. God. And none since, uh, what? 2014, but I, I just moved back here. Anyways, um, how's it going? You guys, um, it's uh, it's kind of, you know, I'm kind of feeling a little like it's still surreal. Uh, my son's still in the dorm over there or at Vista del Sol. Uh, I told him if all his roommates move out, I just might as well move in with him. But he didn't like that idea. Can't blame him. Uh, so, um, uh, but I guess it's okay over there because everybody is moving out. There's nobody left. It's like my son is the only one there. Uh, but you can go to, can go, I guess, guys, if you have a meal plan, you know, I want to move out and move in with me. We're committed to that next year, but you know, to get uh, he can get his meals and stuff yet over there. I don't know why I'm babbling. What is this like a real class that I had? Um, God, you guys are like, why is he doing this? I know you are. I know you are. I know Trevor is. <laughs> That's just getting to be a thing. Anyways, all right, let's do this. Um, where are you guys? Where are you? Here you are. All right. So be advised, you know, that there are tutoring services available. I sent out uh, that announcement. I think uh, there's obviously things are upside down, depending on your personal situation and what's going on. Everybody's got something different. Everybody is taking a hit, right? Everybody. Be cognizant of that as you're going about your daily business, of course. But uh, if you need help, you used to be on campus. There are tutoring services available. The writing labs are available. Go online. Your advisors should be available. Okay. ASU is doing a yeoman's job. Haven't heard that in a while. In dealing with uh, this transition because we're well prepared for it, well suited for it. And I think we're going to come out of it, you know, that much stronger. But we got to get keep keep moving on, right? So, you know, the bottom line, I guess, is that if you need help, you need to ask. Um, I asked a lot of people, found out who my true friends were, <laughs> you know, I, I, like I said, I wanted to go to Wisconsin for the summer and hunker down up there. But, uh, my mother said, no, <laughs> my brother said, no, my sister said, no, my friend said, no, uh, then, then plan G was to go to Prescott friend up there. She said, no. So, um, you know, I uh, decided I'm going to stay here and enjoy the desert. Okay, do what we got to do, right? Um, so I can do it. I can do it. I'm going to write the great American novel. Keep you posted on that. Subscribe to this channel. <laughs> uh, okay, so let's do Easter egg number one. I, I, I did. I put these Easter egg numbers in here without adding Easter egg number. <laughs> so I'm an Easter egg. Uh, okay. So Easter egg number one is, what should it be? 
Um, let's go with, uh, I, I rewatch this. I'm like, look at you sit there and not say anything. And it's so embarrassing. Uh, Easter egg number one, social distancing. Let's keep it, let's keep it going, people. I just re- read before I came out here, by the way, that Prime Minister Modi of India, not the most popular guy in the world, but he just quarantined the whole nation of 1.3 billion people for, uh, for weeks, for like three weeks, um, uh, for three weeks, total ban on coming out of your home. Uh, I think that's what we need to do. We're never going to do it, probably. We'll probably get a lot worse before it gets better. Okay. So um, uh, uh, stay with stay with that. Excuse me one second. Okay. Hi. Good morning. How are you doing today? I'm doing my class video. The light is, light is perfect. I'll talk to you later, though, okay? I got the broom and dustpan by the door, and uh, but I'll, I'll, I'm going to knock in a little while, okay? Good. Okay. Hey, guys. Sorry. Thanks a lot. That was uh, my uh, uh, one of my hosts from Airbnb. She was born in Normandy, France, and her husband was born in Somerset, England. It's really cool. Uh, great people. It'll be sad to leave them. I haven't told her yet. Anyways, I uh, was talking about India going doing this thing, and that's that's a tough thing. And what I'm alluding to here, again, is the interdisciplinarity of this issue, this entire thing. It's, it's just mind-boggling. And as interdisciplinarians who, um, it's kind of like, you know, the medical professionals swear the oath, you know, that, you know, what they do with the medical professionals. You don't have to do that here, of course, but you have a, almost a duty as an interdisciplinarian to look at a issue from many angles, many sides, and integrate ideas from that, but many disciplines, right? So um, we've got, obviously, this global pandemic, medical. We've got the economic. Everything's, like, extreme, too. You notice that? It's not like, you know, oh, we got a little bit of this, a little bit of that. No, we got a pandemic. we got economic meltdowns. We've got... We've got morning, John. I'm doing my video for my class. Yeah. <laughs> Talk to you guys later. Um, and uh, I, we've got, um, you know, the pandemic. We got the, the medical, the political, I mean, the global and then the political, too, which I'm going to say, because politics is just crazy right now. Depends on who you're watching. One side says we can't get this stimulus package because the Democrats want to fund the Kennedy Center for $35 million. And we got the other side saying that we're not getting this done because we've got a $500 billion slush fund that's going to be overseen by Trump and Mnuchin. There's just no strings attached. Okay, where do I fall? You can guess, okay? I mean, making a $35 million claim compared to $500 billion is like, what, $0.35 cents compared to $5,000, okay? It's not... It's not equal, not apples to apples. Not to mention that it was probably thrown in there because it was a negotiating thing to get rid of later. But it it does have its details, but 35 million. But here we have 500 billion that are going to go to corporations, cruise, cruise line industry, which, by the way, if you don't know this, cruise ships are registered to other countries. They don't pay taxes in the United States. We're going to bail them out. Airline industry, which the last time we did this, 2008, they pushed uh, added to executive benefit, executive packages, as well as stock buybacks. So what we're trying to do is just make strings attached so that by law, legally, they can only do certain things with the money that they're going to get, and they're going to get their money. But we're not just going to give it to someone who oversee, to oversee it, Trump did say, I'm going to oversee it, um, $500 billion, someone who's been bankrupt six times, including a casino, which is like a license to print money. So you want to be careful with all this. We want to make sure there's oversight, transparency, okay? However you look at it, you have to agree with that, I hope, okay? Um, But I'm getting into the, like I said, the interdisciplinarity aspect of it is so many people that you can can watch now, politics in action, and watch all these things and understand that so many things are happening at once. The pandemic, the economic, the political. And as an interdisciplinarian, I'd just like you to start seeing the world that way, seeing issues that way. It makes you a better consumer of news, ideas, a better thinker, all right? And that's obviously a kind of a really idealistic 
or ideal goal of being in a program such as this. To be able to look at those things. Not to mention the sustainability aspect of, well, the climate aspect, the, the differences. Now, be careful. If you've seen the, 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 the video of the dolphins in Venice and the drunk elephants in the wine garden, and um, there's another one out there, um, don't buy them, please. They're all fake, okay? Just look them up. Don't just pass it. Oh, it's great. No, okay? There are things clearing up in Venice. There's no question about it. But the dolphins, I think, have been coming there or something like that. The elephants, is not even anything going on with that. And there's one other one. They're not, check with Nat Geo on that, Snopes. Uh, don't just push things along. Yes, it's great that things are improving because we can't. The earth is pushing back kind of thing, you know. Let's let's acknowledge that maybe. Um, you know, I think it was in, I don't know, third grade. I remember memorizing this thing that was around the room. Teacher put up, it said, in spite of ourselves, we are... We cannot, uh, we are not, in spite of ourselves, we cannot control nature. We are not gods above its power. Our true place is as part of nature and not as a continual destroyer with no feelings for nature's spirit. Um, I remember, I memorized that. It was Catholic grade school in the 60s. Who was even thinking like that back then? You'd be surprised. Okay, so um, I'm going to get to this because it's kind of like the what happened, what's going to happen paper that is now due on March 28th. Um, these are things I'd like you to consider. What's going to happen? Back it up. Show me stuff. I mean, I don't care at this point. Anecdotal, you know, news. Uh, doesn't have to be primary, peer-reviewed. Tell me what's going to happen. Be a pundit and back it up then or, or change your mind or see if you can back up what you think is going to happen. And then, like I said, feel free to throw yourself in there in terms of what you're doing, what's going on around you, What do you? because this is about what you think. So let's talk about what you're doing. I mean, I think this is an overblown hoax. I'm just going about my normal business. Okay, I want to hear that. I promise I won't ding you for it, okay? <laughs> I'll call you crazy, but uh, I won't ding you. All right. Um, let's, uh, okay, I also eliminated a fifth video from module six because that was just too many. So the course is now worth 1,025 points. Uh, that's enough. I mean, come on. Uh, all right. I also uh, moved those learning materials to module six where the assignment is regarding the pros and cons. Uh, that was the, uh, the, 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 the pro IDS uh, devil's advocate thinking about things. And you'll get to that in module six. Um, like I said, what's going to happen is due 328. All right. I'd like it formatted decently, please. Times New Roman 12 point font word doc. Paragraph indents, not paragraph gaps. I don't want everything margin on the left with gaps between things. I want open a book and see what it looks like. Paragraph indents, okay? Sections can be broken up. That's fine, but don't give me major gaps. Try to look like it's longer. It's, it is what it is. Do a works cited page if you're citing work, which would be nice if you did, right? Because you tell me what's going to happen, but you got to back it up, okay? Um, and... Uh, uh, if you have any questions on that, let me know. But I have that due on the 28th. Um, and again, for that paper, what's going to happen? Think about it as an interdisciplinarian. That's where points are gonna, really going to be earned in that one, I think. If you can see this thing and get, go through your punditry as an interdisciplinarian, right? Uh, did I do Easter egg number two yet? I didn't do that yet. Oh, God, I'm not ready. Okay, Easter egg number two is... Let's go random, cheap, Jeep, okay? All right, so just um, remember that when you're doing that paper. And again, this, okay, I'll get to this later. Okay, um, the survey is due on March 29th. I am going to do Thursday's video probably right here. The weather's good, and I'm going to demonstrate how to make your survey. I might do it somewhere else where I have a desk, but there's it's limited space and I don't like inside. Light's always bad and it's just hard, but I'll show you how to build your survey on Thursday's video, okay? Um, trying to look at how this course is gonna play out and uh, it's, you know, this is unusual times and I was already doing an unusual class, I think. Um, but, you know, the things we have coming up here, looking at the modules, 
Um, so we're in module five. Uh oh, breaking news, New York Times. Astronomical numbers. New York has over 25,000 coronavirus cases. The rate of new infections is doubling every three days. Be careful out there, you guys. This is serious stuff, okay? Don't let anybody tell you it's not, because it is. All the facts back it up. It's serious. I'm sorry. Anyways, we have um, module five. Okay, this is uh, instructor video. This is the number three one. And then we've got a number four on Thursday about your survey. And we got the paper, 100 points, what's going to happen. Your survey link, 100 points by Sunday night. And then I'm going to encourage you guys to do each other's surveys, of course, okay? Um, and send it out. This is not, you know, the greatest, funnest time to do surveys, but we're going to give it a shot. Uh, then in module six, we got four videos. Um, we're going to go through the learning materials, and that's going to help you to write the paper that's due April 15th on pros and cons, okay? Um, and it's not worth that much, uh, but it's worth 50 points, so please don't neglect it, okay? I'm just saying it's not a 100-pointer. Um, hmm, okay. Uh, and then um, we get to Module 7, last couple of weeks of class, school. I got four videos there. Um, we got a final paper due on the 26th of April. The reason I'm doing that because when I do it on the last day of class, people still think they're going to turn in late. Oh, you have a five day late policy. No, the class is over. But I'm going to head that off by saying you got till the 26th. School ends on the 1st. There's your five days of being late that you can get knocked off 50%. I don't know why you would, but get it done the 26th. Okay. We'll talk a lot more about that final paper as we start moving into April. Okay. Um, Present your findings. That's a 50-point thing, and that's almost optional. I'm not expecting everybody to do it if you don't want to. If you're satisfied with your points for your grade, 900 plus an A, 800 plus a B, 700 plus a C, you don't have to do it, okay? Not judge anybody. But I'd like you to present your findings. And how are we going to do that? We'll talk about that. But I'm thinking do what I'm doing right now. Present your findings. Man, show us. Set it up. Let's go. Let's do that, right? Boy, that was really weird, huh? Okay. Um, and then uh, I'm going to finish up with a video. So that's kind of how it looks. I want you to let me know if you if you have any issues about the planning of this, questions, comments, concerns. Uh, I'm rounding up to about 18 minutes. I think that's fair for you guys. Uh, what a short class. Huh? Remember we used to do an hour, hour and 15? Those are the good old days. I could just sit here and talk and wait for Easter egg number three and Nobody gets points until you get it. Boy, that's just terrible of me, isn't it? All right, so let me just start thinking about Easter egg number three. Huh? Um, I know what you think I'm going to say, but I'm not. Okay, read your mind. All right, let's go. Um, Easter egg number three is um, you got this. You got this. So actually, you can say, I got this. Okay. You can write Easter egg number three. I got this because I want whatever you got going, whatever's going on, you know, you got this. OK, this is a temporary setback for us and a learning experience and a good time for us to hit pause on our whole lives and society and, and and baseball and Olympics and all every sport and 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 things we were planning on doing and movies, theaters and clubs and going out and trips and Disneyland and all kinds of things. We just got to shut it down and hit pause and look in the mirror and figure out what we're going to do. How are we going to get through this? Are we going to just, uh, you know, I mean, be creative, do well, do, do well at what you're doing, stay in shape. Um, I should throw Easter egg number four in here because half the people turned it off already after I get the third one. But if you hung this far, I'm sorry, I took 20 more seconds of your life away. Forks up. Have a good day. I'll see you Thursday. We'll do the survey work. Okay.